What's good everybody, it's Jay Coffee Tar back again with another video for you guys. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Daily content dropping, you know how we do over here on this channel and I always want to hear from y'all, the people. So get in this discussion in the comment thread. But check it out man, I'm sure y'all seen this whole situation with Lil Reese, you know, getting shot and uh, you know he seems to be okay. Um, you'll see one of the pictures popping up on the screen. Got a, uh, you know, a mean wound going on that with the stapled up, like right in his neck, throat area. And, um, you know, it's just wild, man. I'm, I want to talk, talk about a couple different things regarding this whole situation. Now, you'll see <clears throat> he, him talking here about in one of these tweets since he touched down you know everyone was discussing this live where he went live didn't you know he didn't really say anything he was just kind of tapping in and looked like he was maybe reading the comments and people were speculating you know uh the ops were in the comments i'm sure y'all seen all these different videos out there the ops the ops is in little reese live um, uh, you know, he's he wanted to show the fans he's okay. You know, I mean, the man didn't even say nothing. We really don't know what exactly he was doing. And, you know, a lot of people are speculating as well. The fact that he didn't speak, you know, uh, something going on with the with the shooting, with the injury, you know, may where it is being in his throat and everything may, uh, you know, may have damaged his voice or it just at the time being it's hard for him to talk maybe because of pain and everything like that but he you know tapped in on his twitter and you see the different comments uh tweets that he put up there and um first off before i tap in about this vlad thing i don't know what's going on when you see the one tweet where someone was hitting reese up letting him know that at a tyler show he was talking about yo this chicago right and, um, you know what I'm saying, the fans started booing his song or whatever. And I don't know, now Reese is talking about F. Tyler and his fans or whatever. I believe he's talking about Tyler, the creator. So I don't even know what's going on there. But, um, I guess he, you know, he feels some kind of way about that towards towards him. But um, you see the tweet, though, where he's discussing about you know telling his story that someone was like yo vlad's gonna want these rights to this story big time now listen listen you know what i'm saying um I i'm bringing you guys this from a different perspective as i always do you know what i mean because a lot of people cover all these different stories you know what i'm saying but um I, my take always i feel like is is a is a little different i give you a little more than you know um not dissing anyone out there some people just bring you just the news exactly what happened I, I, i'm giving y'all my take and everything now peep this out right he's saying yo it's got it's got to be at least a million for um y'all to hear my story now vlad responded and that's been making the headlines where vlad told him yo i'm happy that you survived that you're okay but you ain't even gonna get 10 percent of a million you know to tell this story now I heard someone else say 10% is 10K. 10% is 100K. And, um, you know, he definitely ain't going to get that, as, as Vlad told him. Now, this makes me wonder, you know, there's a couple things that comes to mind when we see this. All right. Now, we know with these dudes in Chicago, uh, the whole War in Chirac series that uh, DJ Academics did that was so controversial covered a lot of what was going on with these artists how we seen that you know we know in the rap game a lot of dudes it's all image but we seen from the different things that happened that during this whole war in Chirac a lot of these dudes were banging and rapping at the same pace where you know what I'm saying they really were still in the streets they were trying to live by what they rapped almost a little too much you know what I'm saying and we seen people would diss each other in tweets and then people would end up getting smoked like it was really wild like we did the, the whole war in Chirac really showed this and um you know a lot of people were mad at act because the com type of commentary he brought where he almost talks satirical or whatever like that about it all when pe bodies were really really dropping so we know Reese was in the streets involved in some of this stuff 
and you know he was trying to push on in the rap game now for all of this I don't really know what kind of bag you know Reese has seen over his time in the rap game but the fact that he's saying this makes you wonder you know what kind of money he's seen and it just makes you wonder you know is this all worth it and what I mean is if you're in the streets you're in the streets um you know people sometimes get out of the streets you know what I'm saying they get some bread together and they save up for a business or they invest their money in something else and go legit or you know what I'm saying they they still stay in the streets but they slow it down to where you know that they're, they're uh you know not as exposed out there in danger all the time and then they they transition over to a legit way to change their lives you know what I'm saying no one really wants to be in the streets forever I guess some people do but we know it's only going to lead to jails institution death pain suffering and everything like that right so it almost makes you wonder has he really made money like that you know what I mean and is it all worth it participate in this kind of stuff at the end of the day if you ain't really getting to the bag because listen we all know no one is gonna get a million for a story about you getting shot and everything like no doubt it's news and everything like that but think about it like this majority of the people that go on vlad which obviously is one of the bigger hip-hop platforms out there these days on youtube um he doesn't pay him anything you know what i'm saying them being on there i don't know if maybe he did in the beginning or you know uh, you know how this game operates by favor sometimes yo you do this interview for me I'll do this for you and things like that but um now Vlad is so big people want to come on to his platform you know what I'm saying so majority of the time Vlad ain't paying no one nothing to come on uh, his his platform and um, these dudes that are going on there are trying to further whatever kind of career they're doing you know what I mean like because uh, you know content nowadays everyone there's people coming out and wanting to tell their story who were like for real gangsters like that and you know time has passed and now they're like man i'm getting older you know what i'm saying um i, I don't have the money i maybe used to do have because they went and did some time or whatever like they're like i need to get on here and get a piece of this money you know what i'm saying that's going around that everyone's getting for telling their story and doing podcasts and having their own online platform or you know whatever they're trying to push we've seen so many of these dudes uh everything from former guys in the mob um to like the dudes from jay-z's projects uh the haven um all, all different kinds of people you know what i'm saying who were really out there like that coming on because they're like man you know what i mean i'm not where i want to be at i should be getting some of this bread too too so for reese to think you know what i'm saying like and i don't mean to sound insensitive to him or anything but yo my man you got shot you're in the streets like people get shot at like that whole paid in full joint man people get shot every day b like why do you think that your story not saying people don't want to hear it but why do you think your story is so much more exclusive than anyone else out there rapping who got shot that's the biggest platform on youtube is going to pay you a million dollars right like think about it like this we've seen as i was just saying all kinds of guests on vlad tv you know what i mean um so many people that you probably thought would have never been there word is keefy d you know who made his rounds um on the internet and we know he's trying to get his uh some kind of platform for himself going too. he's trying to get this whole podcast bag interview bag himself and um, word is, with all the information, you know, Keefe D had regarding the whole Tupac thing and everything like that, a lot of people say Keefe D might have only got like five racks out of Vlad, because uh, I believe Keefe was saying 10, I'm not positive, and um, it's been disputed, and there's even word that some people say it was maybe as low as like two Gs, so why, you know what I mean, um, someone like uh, Reese, who just got clapped, why are you going to be so much more important that you're going to get way more bread than this? You know what I'm saying? Vlad's getting money right now. And for him to pay a guest, he's obviously got to recoup that money. And, you know, for the type of views and numbers Vlad's doing, he's got to do a lot more 
than just recoup that money to even think about pay you. He's got to know it's going to come back way more than tenfold. So Lil Reese is just tripping here when he's saying this, and it just really makes me think that this guy isn't that sure how business works, um, you know, as far as this streaming game and everything like that, and he really ain't got to the bag like that. So at the end of the day, you know, is it is it worth it? really uh for for this dude you know to participate in all that craziness the war in Chirac where people are dissing each other on the net and banging on each other in the streets and do all that like if you didn't really come up like that you know what I mean because you know these dudes that's the only reason a lot of them you know uh did that kind of shit because if you're in the streets why would you put it on the internet when you're really doing it unless you think you can be like the next chief key for someone of 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 them heights you know what i mean because i'm just not convinced reese got anywhere near of of that status you know what i'm saying uh and it's it's a shame man that you put your ass out there on the line like that and um you know you're at this point where you are now where you know what i'm saying we just seen him get jumped wasn't that him that got jumped a few months back when they were saying he uh you know um uh, shit himself or, or uh, you know what i'm saying like and then and then this happens people are clapping you you still got enemies um you you don't have enough money it seems to where you you don't even ever have to go around there no more like you're still out in the danger zone and you know you're thinking that you getting shot now this story is so viral like this is going to be the big thing that makes you where you're going to walk away with a million dollars like i don't know i just think this man is tripping and um, it just really goes to show you, uh, you know, what people are trying to do nowadays for this Internet fame, like, is a dangerous game. And, and, and this situation, man, I, I, I just don't think this man, you know, was nowhere near where he wants to be. And I don't know, like, it's, people got to really think about and analyze this. You know what I'm saying? Run the numbers. Yo, like, I'm doing this. This happened to me. I'm only seeing this much money. Like, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of thinking that this dude isn't that intelligent business wise so get in the comments let me know which you know your guys take on all that like i said as always that's what my channel's all about on you know all the different topics that i cover seeing what the people think but um i don't know man like i just i just don't understand you know what exactly this dude's uh, thinking to think he's gonna get that kind of bread now being that his name is in the news right now algorithms and interest from people and everything he should be mad active right now where he wants to get around to all the blogs and do different interviews and things like that um you know for free so he can get, get everything pumping and and you know what i'm saying pump out some hits and uh whatever else he's gonna release whatever kind of content to get the views up and get to the bag but it just seems like he's looking at this thing totally backwards and is just totally unaware and of you know what's really really good out here you know um in this whole streaming game and you know what his status is in it now before i close this out right like let me know as i said what y'all think about that whole situation i want to say something about vlad since we're talking about vlad right now right we know for the longest time vlad you know was uh got the image and um of being uh an informant a snitch working for the feds and things like that because we've seen people come on his platform and catch cases and there's been certain situations where you know um the transcript of a vlad tv interview you know what i'm saying was like up in a federal indictment i believe and um you know a lot of people may not like what vlad does and what he says and everything like that but I've always been kind of one of the firm uh, believers as far as, you know, what's going on with Vlad. Nothing to do with him being a cornball or is he a culture vulture or any of that. He's getting money. He's sparking people's interest. So he's getting them views like that. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, these people go onto Vlad's platform and, you know, they talk about what they talk about. So, you know what I'm saying? They should be more careful and just maybe not answer certain uh, questions and things like that. You know, that's how I've always kind of felt. Even though, you know, uh, I'm not talking about my personal feelings, like is he a cornball or none of that. That's besides the point. At the end of the day, you know, they got to watch what they say. And, um, and it is what it is. But 
I've recently, you know, and, and Vlad said things like, yo, I don't ever ask anyone about something that can really get him in trouble unless it's over. It's a case that's over and it's done with. And I try to not make him go in too far. And there's been things that I didn't even post because I thought that, you know, it may cause them some trouble. I've recently on just a couple uh, videos that I was just watching on Vlad felt like he really did kind of cross the line with some of the questions. He had this one dude on there. I'm sure y'all seen him. He's been popping up. Um, you know, he's in the algorithm heavy right now on the recommended on the on Vlad's platform. And his name is Brian Glaze Gibbs. Um, you know what I'm saying? Street dude from from New York. Uh, I forget which borough he's from, but he's got a lot of, you know, stories to tell. And, you know, um, he was kind of in him and his man were kind of involved in a Tupac situation and everything like that. So he's got them gangster stories to tell that people are interested in hearing right now. Right. But Vlad asked this man about a case that he beat because the witness didn't cooperate. How do like what did you do to them to get them to not show up? And it's like, yo, Vlad that's super reckless that could get that man in trouble because if he tells that that's witness tampering and i i don't know uh if there's um you know what i'm saying a statute of limitations on that maybe i don't know maybe not but i just thought that that was a pretty reckless question and then um when he had the haven on there like i said we know people are going to go on these platforms and talk about things you know that happen that you know maybe people in the streets feel like they shouldn't but um, I get it that everyone kind of wants to go and talk now because, like I said, people are just really making serious money off this. So everyone wants their peace. But, you know, sometimes you got to be vague when talking about certain things and be careful what you say. But he's asking to Haven, uh, uh, you know, about his interactions with other street dudes who were moving bricks and things like that and asking them exact prices. How much you know was a brick off him how many did you buy at this time at that at this and it just feels like it could get some of these dudes caught up in a in a conspiracy charge you know what i'm saying like maybe they could take that information and link it to something and date it back and then bang we got a whole rico case you feel me like i don't know i've always thought that even though vlad is who he is um at the end of the day these people come on there and talk about what they do and vlad's just putting out content that people want to see but I feel like really recently, you know, because I feel like both of these videos that I'm talking about are pretty recent. Maybe they're not. Vlad's wiling out a little bit with his line of questioning more than ever. So tap in the comments, guys. Like I said, let me know your thoughts on Lil Reese, the shooting, where he's at in his career, you know, the streaming game, where where he stands and all that. And, and you know, was this all worth it, um, his journey in rap? And is he doing things right or wrong? And, um, you know, with these Vlad 1900 get indicted questions that he's asking. So thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing what you guys got to say in that comment thread. It's Jay Coffee Talk. If you didn't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Like I said, I also cover sports, other music, news, current events, blogs about life, and so much more. Sub to the channel, y'all. Daily content. We chop it up. That's what we do over here. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.